Good hello, Tim Boom Harmony 15 has just been announced. There's a link in the description to the page if you wanted to see some of the new features. Last year in Harmony 14, the big focus was in 3D integration, getting a lot of that really smoothed out, as well as some of the compatibility with the Unity engine. But now it seems back to basics, we've got a lot of focus on you know, actual animation, really sprucing up the brushes. We've had vector and bitmap brushes, but now it seems there's gonna be kind of hybrid vector brushes with textures. Now I thought that already existed, so for it to be a listed feature, it must be some reimagining or reinvention of it. Claiming to be a breakthrough technology, so it's, it's gotta be something that is worth looking at. Recoloring, now one of the big selling points of this program has always been uh, the swatch palette. Speculating what this could be, I think it's sort of a way of combining different color IDs into one. So if you've got two different swatches, both of the same shade, multiple things colored in those, and oh boy, now they're mixed up between the two. So I guess you can sort of take all of one, put it back into the other. Again, this is all speculation at this point, but it's fun to you know theorize and get a bit excited as to what these features could be. Master controllers. This is the one I'm probably the most excited about, but there's two main things it could potentially be going from the images and its description. The first is it might just simply be the post copier. Uh, for a couple of versions now, there's been this thing called the post copier. It's more of a packaged plugin. It comes with the program, but it's not exactly up and running. It's quite a complicated little contraption and there's very specific things you need to do in order for it to work properly. So this is most likely an integrated version of that. It's got a proper interface, it's in with the artwork and you can add as many levers as you want to control different things. Uh, now what I really hope it could be, but I don't think it is, is something that pushes it as far as Anime Studio Pro. Now those controllers are com just nuts, where you can animate a head moving left to right and up and down, and then combining the levers you can make it tilt in all the other diagonal directions that you never even drew. That would be awesome, but it's very unlikely. Like fundamentally Toon Boom just isn't really built to, to operate that way. So it's more likely going to be a make your animation, you kind of bake it into a lever and then, and it's it's like a fancy frame selector. The new rigging nodes are quite exciting. It's pretty vague as to what they're going to be, but there is eight new ones. Well, that's a lot. I wonder what they'll do. Rigging is a very powerful feature and it gets very, very in depth, but it does get to a point where you can start to break the program and you need a few workarounds in order for things to operate the way you want them to. Not to mention it gets very dense uh, to the point where the complexity of a character might be so intense that it actually ends up not really saving as much time as it could. So if these work, it could completely change some people's production lines. This stuff here in scene layout and compositing is a bit more on the simpler end. The smaller refinements that will save a bit of time and at a glance, a lot easier to understand what they're going to be. Preset guides and vanishing points. So you can draw lots of perspective-y stuff and all the lines and strokes will just sort of snap to the grid. That's nice. Several extra elements have been added to thumbnails in the timeline. I can imagine this is gonna eat RAM like nothing else, but if it works, that'll be great. And it's a feature that's frankly needed for quite some time. These last two sections here of node view improvements and creating animating mats and masks, uh, I believe they're pretty much the same thing. It looks like the cutter, which has been the way of masking up until now in premium, uh, is going away and is being replaced by simply drawing layers themselves, having a way of getting plugged into the left-hand port. Uh, anything that you plug into the left becomes a mat. And those mats look like they'll have a whole bunch of extra customizability, including feathering, and who knows what, what the heck else. It looks like there's gradients and stuff. Okay. Finally, the last thing, and probably the most important one, now I would be thrilled if there would be a Harmony release that added no new features and it just simply worked on the back end and made the entire thing much more zippy. When compositing and effects gets intense, it gets really intense. If you're exporting a shot of just regular drawings, it, it'll be very fast. You know, hundreds of frames can come out in a matter of seconds. But once you start layering the effects on, it slows down dramatically to the point that it can take several seconds or even a minute or so to render individual frames. Now there's a point that just becomes unworkable, especially if the program is slowing down to that point while you're working on it, performing an action, waiting for it to update, performing an action, waiting for it to update. It kills productivity and motivation very, very quickly. And this is the one thing that programs like After Effects or Nuke still have over Harmony. It's performance when processing these kinds of effects. Now its description focuses on rigs, 
that when you have a very complicated character, it will only be refreshing the part that you're currently working on, ignoring the rests to improve the performance. Now, I'm really hoping that this will bleed through into these other areas as well, because it will ch it'll change everything. At least I know myself personally will be able to get a lot more done, but we're just gonna have to wait and see if it works. Uh, so this comes out October 16th. I'll try and get a new features guide to you as, as soon as I can when that happens. Uh, it kind of depends if I'm able to get uh, a review copy or not. I'll try, but uh, yeah, I'm not holding my breath, to be honest. Uh, in the meantime, I'm currently brushing up a course on uh, TV Paint. There's a lot of interesting stuff to cover there, so if it's a program you've been interested in learning or even just wondering what the heck it is and how it differs to all the other programs out there because, because uh, well, it differs a lot. It's a very fascinating journey. It's uh, frankly been a very tricky one because it's fundamentally so different to all the other programs. Pretty much nothing can be transferred, but it, hey, for traditional artists, it's wonderful. That's a different topic. That's for another day.